But hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for June. Bear the cards for where they may, let them cards for where they may. Uh, so this is your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. Okay. Uh, this, uh, if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. And uh, that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that, you know, just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on cast. Okay. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. Yeah. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, if I don't pick up on your situation, you can always stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. Okay. And of course, just use this as a guide to, you know, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying the top bread. Um, if I feel I need to lay or clarify the bottom, then you'll see extra cards out there. So let me just take these hand and I'll be back. So Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking out as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, just a quick note, just to say, of course, you know, if I don't pick up on your situation, you could always stick around us sometimes. You know, there could just be messages throughout this that jump out and just speak to you. And um, as I always say, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality okay so let's all right so this is for a lot of you someone who has who they you're, you're wanting to fix you're wanting to kind of mend this relationship mend this connection with the star card there you're wanting to fix it and you're adamant about that with that emperor card there because there is this i'm not sure at what point that acknowledgement came but there is this acknowledgement of you being, you know, emotionally fulfilled by this person that might have came after you just kind of spending time apart, having some form of separation, you dating other people, but definitely an acknowledgement of being emotionally fulfilled here. So with that comes this wanting to mend this, fix this. And then hopefully, you know, the idea is to kind of advance this. So this, there was this maybe communication, you reached out. Yeah, there's something around you reaching out with the eight with the eight of wands there um in order to fix this i feel like it took a lot of strength to be able to do that though actually kind of find the courage to reach out um but there was definitely this lack of clarity or, around whether this could actually be fixed whether this person is going to be just receptive to your communication um receptive to wanting to fix this, wanting to get back together, wanting to see if we can work things out, uh, but again, lack of clarity around that. But wanting things to go well, wanting to be victorious in that. Like I said, I feel like there was just you trying to, um, this level of strength that you had to have or, uh, how do I put that? Maybe there was some nervousness around you approaching them, which caused that stroke. Just like, okay, I need to take the plunge, that type of thing with this. With them, it's like they, they kind of, they've got the two of swords, which talks about not wanting to deal with something. So they was in a state of mind where they just, they, they didn't want to deal with this. Yes, there is this attraction there, strong attraction, there, strong physical um, attraction there with the lover's card there, but it, it feels like there was a mental choice that they needed to make regarding whether they wanted to maybe we do have that king of cups which talks about stability loyalty reliability um whether whether they could whether they should 
respond or whether they should pursue this with you because there was something that they was working on birthing with the empress card there the empress talks about the creation of something the birthing of something so i feel like this is definitely outside of this connection with you it's something external to you maybe work related maybe something around the birthing of something which there was just kind of in a waiting period with that three waiting for something to happen maybe waiting for an answer waiting for confirmation of something um something that they've definitely put work into like i said but still waiting still in this kind of waiting period waiting for a response or waiting for the green light for something which brings us to where we are now which kind of mirrors this uh creation this empress card because now it feels like they receive the answers and it's brought about this transformation. The death card talks about the ending of something, but with the ending comes the rebirth, a birthing of something else. So this kind of represents this transformation. It's tied to this creation or this birthing of something. Like I said, this could be maybe them moving to a new country, uh, being accepted into a new school, college, university, whatever the case may be, a work position, something that's causing this transformation. It means a lot to them as well. I feel like it's something they've maybe been working on while there was this separation. But it shocked you. It's kind of surprised you. Something surprised you. I feel like you didn't... Yeah, this... It, it, yeah, it surprised you. It's thrown you into shock, really. So, for instance, if this person has been, there's been confirmation of them moving abroad, um, then it's kind of shocked you, surprised that, you know, this person is is leaving. But whatever it is, it's definitely surprised you, which is kind of contradicting what your intuition is saying. It's like the, it's like the physical is not lining up with what your intuition is telling you about this. And that in itself is keeping you trapped. Let me see if I can explain that a bit more. It's like your intuition, there's an inner knowing about this connection, about this person, about this situation. But what's going on in the rea in the physical, in the reality, it's not matching up. It's like it's not making sense. It's like, so that's keeping you in your head, it's, if that makes sense. It's keeping you in your head. What's happening now, what's happening now with this transformation and all this information and this shock, is not lining up with what you know know to be true internally about this. So it's not making sense to you, keeping you in your head. Um, and you're wanting a solution to that. It's like, okay, I need answers. <laughs> I need answers to this, you know, because it's, it's creating doubt for me with the five of wands there, creating doubt. But even though it's creating doubt, you still have this magician card, which talks about this having this level of belief in order for you to make something happen. Like I said, this person is going through a transformation. Um, they've got the full card there. So it's definitely this a new beginning in some way, shape or form. A new beginning. Something they've been working on, something that they created the birthing of something. And now it's like this, it's a, it's a new chapter. It's a new journey uh, that they think positively about as well with the chariot. They're definitely in a positive headspace when it comes to to that. We've got that two of wands again, which talks about a decision, and then we have the karma card. So I feel like, again, it's kind of mirroring what they were thinking in the past. And this means a lot to them. This is something that they've worked on. It means a lot to them. Yeah, it feels good. It's, it's kind of giving them a feeling of I'm, I'm kind of things are working out for me. This thing's going to work out. I think something that I maybe put a, a lot of work into and now it's kind of starting to come about. Things that the wheels are starting to turn. I'm excited. I'm about, you know, I'm, I'm moving into a new chapter. I'm about to embark on a new journey. I'm going through this transformation. I have this level of belief that things are going to be well, work out okay. Again, we've still got that full card there. It talks about, again, taking a risk as well. Not knowing how, fully how things are going to work out, but has that magician card there, which they just have this level of belief that things are going to be okay. But there is this disappointment. 
and it's tied to, to you. It's tied to you. So there is this, and that could be simply, you know, that could be, this could be a, a, maybe a timing issue. If you strongly feel that, because what you're battling with is, is doesn't make sense. Right. Your intuition is telling you something. You, you have an inner knowing about something. So what's going on at the moment is clashing with that. It's making you doubt this relationship. And it, it, that in itself is not making sense to you. So there's, 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 there's a bit of conflict that's going on for you. But there is this level of belief, like I said, with the magician card there, holding on to that with the four, you know, defending and protecting or trying to protect what you've already have um, from it falling apart with the tower card there. I'm not sure how you could be expressing this protection and holding on to. So if you're badgering this person and say badger, but I mean, you know, let's use a lighter word, shall we? If you're trying to convince this person or something or trying to contact them or send them messages and they're not, they're ignoring you or however it is you're expressing that seven and that four, that's not a good place to be in, in terms of bringing this back together if that's where it's going to go if that's how you truly feel if you have that intuitive knowing about this that's not a place for you to be in it has this attach this needy energy it is clashing with what they've got going on and this means a lot to them there's something that they put work into something that you know they're enjoying and it doesn't mean that this is not going to happen it just means that divine timing i guess is at play it's all about divine timing isn't it so there's no point in Again, that's for those that are expressing it in a way that is not beneficial to this connection or this relationship um, moving forward in, in the way that you would like. So really it's about just kind of let, it's, I, I tell you what it's about, it's about the bridge of incidences, isn't it? The steps, the things that happen in between to get you from A to B, you know, that's not your job, that's not your role. Um, that's the, you know, that's, that's, but you, that's not, you just know what it is that you want. You believe in it. You feel it to be true. And, and it is what it is and how you get there. That's not your job. That's not your job. So what you're holding on to is that feeling of knowing that this is something that this connection is meant to be, but the physical is not lining up with that. So it, I feel like maybe for some of you, um, I don't, I don't want to use the word panic because I don't sense panic here, but it's just, it's like, it's this, it's coming from the space of, well, this is not right. So I need to do that. This is not right because I know this is going to, this meant to be. So it's that type of thing. When back off, get yourself into a place where you're just easy with things um, and let nature take its course, divine time. If it's not this person, it's going to be someone that matches exactly what it is that you want. Um, yeah. So usually at this point, we kind of move into part two, where we just expand on this. Uh, for those of you that are interested, I will be implementing that next week, guys. So look out for that. But as it stands, hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly Singles and love readings, I will be implementing those singles soon, guys. So just please bear with me. Okay. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see, I shall see you next week.